Today we will be doing an upside down unboxing of the FSP Aurum Series Gold 400 power supply. So personally, I'm a big fan of highly efficient, reasonable wattage power supplies. And the reason for that is actually outlined in a recent edition of NCIX Tech Tips that I did. And uh, you, you should check that out. It's called Power Supply power consumption, system power consumption, or something like that. And um, what we basically do is we take a system, we upgrade it from a very, very basic configuration all the way through all the steps up to a very high-end machine, and then we discover as we go along how much power it consumes. So what we found out was we plugged in a 1200 watt, 80 plus gold power supply, and power consumption sucked. The efficiency was no good because we were consuming so little power from it, whereas if we'd taken a 400 watt, 80 plus gold power supply, we would have actually consumed less power as a whole. So it's got kind of a neat finish on it, it's got a five year warranty, it's recommended for gaming and workstation. Remember, you can power a decent gaming machine off a 400 watt power supply. Here's the overall specs, which we'll see as we open up the unit itself. FSP Maya IC, Multiple Intelligence Ability Chipset, okay? Uh, what else have we got here? Constant hold up control, performs continuous adjustments according to the output load in order to achieve the best possible efficiency. So this is all about efficiency. As I mentioned before, it is 80 plus gold. Let's just go ahead and start opening up the unit itself. So the first thing we find inside is a quick start guide, which pretty much tells you not a whole lot. English is the fourth language in here, if I can even find it. it shows you the connectors and whatnot. We've also got four black thumb screws, nice little touch, an FSB case badge, as well as uh, three Velcro cable ties. Power cable is included. And then the power supply itself, uh, wrapped in my favorite kind of foam, so the closed cell foam that is really very, very durable. And you can see right here, this is a 400 watt power supply, so it doesn't have a whole lot of cables attached, but let's look at the unit itself first. So it's got a gold-ish blackish, darkish. This is a really neat powder coat finish. This is actually very similar to the finish that I have on my TJ07 case, my personal case. I had it done by Mountain Mods. It's, they call it black wrinkle. It's very durable, completely fingerprint proof, almost scratch proof, and looks outstanding. It's like a matte black, but it has a little bit of shine to it, almost like it has brush strokes in it, like it was painted piece of plastic in there. We've got a 120 millimeter cooling fan covered by a grill. It's covered by a little piece of plastic here that'll protect that. Go ahead and remove that. There you go. Now you can see the full shininess. At the back, we have kind of an arrow design to the back grill that looks like it should provide pretty unrestricted airflow through the back of the power supply. Uh, power input, power switch. On both sides of the unit, we find... Oh, hold on. What's that? Oh, that comes off. Okay. We find FSP branding as well as that nice uh, black wrinkle finish. On the top, we find the overall specs of the unit. So let's have a look here. You can see it does have dual 12 volt rails that are together capable of providing up to 384 watts of power. So that is almost the full 400 watt capacity of this power supply. And then we go move around to the other side of the unit where we find more FSP branding. You can see what they've done is if your window is on the normal side of your case, no matter, oh no, okay, it will be upside down if you go this way. So the FSP will be right side up if you install it this way around. We've got a few more of those ventilation arrows here on the front of the unit. And now let's have a look at the sleeving as well as the cables that come pre-attached to the RM400 watt. So here we are, we have our 20 plus four pin power connector. You can see that uses a, a pretty decent quality sleeving on it, so you can't really see the color of the wires too much through that. Okay, next we have our 4 plus 4 pin EPS power connector. So this is quite a long cable, which is good because if you have a bottom mounted power supply, you're going to want to be able to reach the top left corner of the motherboard where that's usually situated. Here we have a 6 plus 2, so 8 pin PCIe power adapter. I would have liked to see an additional one of these, but you can always use adapters. So we do have three Molex connectors and one floppy connector. So you could use a couple of those to get another PCIe six pin out of it. Remember, this will power a decent machine, right guys? So even with like a GTX 560, you'll have no problem using a 400 watt power supply. And then finally, four SATA power 
connectors. So all of those are sleeved and then terminated individually. So it looks quite nice. So let's just see if there's anything else we missed here before we wrap it up. Acoustic noise, they're claiming it's, whoops, they're claiming it's quite quiet, even up to 100% load. Most power supplies you see on their noise charts, they usually kind of ramp up like this, near 100% load. This one does not. And in terms of efficiency, because it is 80 plus gold, it is peaking up at around 90% efficiency. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the RM 400 watt power supply from FSP. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.